All right, in this video today, we're gonna to show you some new all-terrain outrigger feet that we came up, but let me first tell you why we did this. Uh, we'll give you an example here. We have this shot, run this uh, really rocky staircase here, and we wanna get a reveal shot pulling off from this rock wall, uh, looking up these stairs as a person walks up. As you can see, that with the, the standard rubber feet on the pocket alley, trying to get this thing leveled and keep from rocking is gonna be practically impossible. Now we have our standard outrigger feet that you may be already familiar with, and those are really great for just doing fine leveling and things like in a studio uh, uh, atmosphere or uh, different situations like that where you only need maybe two inches of adjustment. Uh, but here, as you can see, we have this uh, maybe five, six uh, inch incline, which we wanna level this shot out. And then we have a lot of just really uh, gnarly terrain here. So we knew that this was a situation from listening to our customers that, were, uh, that they were encountering a lot. So we came up with these uh, outrigger feet that are uh, intended for all-terrain purposes. Uh, they have indexable levers that tighten this hub system. So as you loosen this, these legs actually swivel out like so. And as you can see, once you tighten them, if the lever's in a way, you can lift up and re-index the lever in any position that you like. And as, also, as you can see, this is giving you a very wide uh, platform that's either gonna give you a lot of height adjustment, running vertically, or just a lot of stability uh, and very odd angles. So now we'll show you how to uh, mount this, and that's gonna be the exact same way that you'd mount our other outrigger feet. As you can see here on the bottom, you have these uh, quarter 20 tapped holes. You just line up the quarter 20 thumb screw. See, it only takes a few seconds to attach those. Just get them thumb tight and they won't swivel. They have nice rubber pads on there to keep that from uh, moving. And do this on both sides. Just fold them out like this. Slide your cart down to this end. Repeat the same operation. Now all we want to do is go ahead and get this level. So I want my shot to start right on the other side of this wall and reveal this staircase as a person walks up. So uh, right here's where I want my camera to start. So we'll get this level and I'm looking at my level on uh, this Guido's uh, quick release plate here. And I'll lock that into position. Then I'll come over here and I'll get this guy raised up. As you can see here, I'm still running uphill slightly, so I'll lower this down just a hair. Tie them nice and secure. That's pretty much perfect. As you can see here, we have a lot of elevation adjustment, a lot of wide stance for stability. I mean, this thing is rock solid. You're not going to get any flex out of this whatsoever. And as you can see, I'm putting my body weight on this thing and can hold it just fine. So now let's go ahead and get our shot. 